Hey there, welcome to the 17th Easy jQuery tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. We, so far we've learned how to get and post data and today I'm going to show you how to put data. The put method ensures that the data you're changing on the on the, the database or the server exists. So it's much safer than using post which can accidentally create a new record when you don't intend to. So in our last tutorial I showed you how to create the, po the post AJAX method where we're sending data in JSON format, we're sending tutorial number, title, author, and type. And the change that I have done to our table for this tutorial is that I added a new column called dbid, which is database ID, because MongoDB, uh, like many other types of databases, will include, will inject a random, unique database identifier to the record to let us know or let the table know that this is an unique ID. And when we look at the JSON data that's being returned to us from the ExpressJS app, we'll see that ID, underscore ID, is included in the response even though we're not sending it anywhere here. It's just automatically. So I changed my HTML to include the database ID and the script here to read the underscore ID so that I can show you visibly what's happening. And the way the ExpressJS app works is that, so it's looking for API slash tutorial slash ID, whatever the ID is, to update. And we will ch change this data. So instead of working with the post, I will actually copy this. I'll comment this out. I'll actually go up here, even though I should go below, and I'll post. I will change this uh, here and change my method to put. The data will, will remain absolutely the same because the structure, the, the model in my ExpressJS app is the same. It's looking for these four properties. And the difference between post and put is that post doesn't need uh, an extra URL um, parameter, whereas the put does. So we need to ident identify, we need to say which ID to edit. And we'll look at our index ID, or we'll look at our, our page, and we'll pick this random one. So I'll pick the first one just to make it easy. And we'll say, put this data here. I'll actually change this back to post, and I'll show you what happens uh, when you try to post data to this URL when the application is not looking for it. So I'll save this, and course is on, and I'll refresh this, and let's look at the JavaScript console. Nothing worked, we'll just say, you know, failed loading post because my application is not looking for this kind of uh, uh, string, this kind of URL, this, this parameter when we're posting data. So if you put put, when you're, the application is looking for a put method with this extra URL parameter and it'll change it to whatever this is. So let's actually change some stuff. We'll keep the tutorial number one because you know, it was one. Uh, we'll just change the title to changed tutorial. And the type is, uh, it used to be jQuery, it's Excel. Let's just do mean, you know, uh, for, for no reason. If I save this and I run this, refresh this, you'll see that the tutorial has changed. So it says change tutorial, NASMA's tutorial type is mean. If I change something else, change tutorial again, save it, refresh this, and you'll see change tutorial again. And the ExpressJS application is returning exactly what we're changing just to verify that we changed the the specific tutorials. If I update this one, you can see that it's not just with that. Let's see, change tutorial number last. I forget what it is, right? Uh, it was seven. Uh, we'll keep it as mean. You'll see that it's you know fourth tutorial. You know it's four. Blah blah blah. If I refresh, it changed it to seven. It's change tutorial number last mean, and we did this via this. Uh, this URL. So put is pretty simple. It works just like post, except you need to tell the endpoint what you're changing. In my case, it's this, the ID is sent via the URL. Whatever API that you're using, you, could, you may need to send it in the data. So if you send it in the data, it'll pick up the URL, pick up the ID from there. Uh, I could have done that, but I, I chose not to. I chose to do it this way. And that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. Next tutorial will cover delete, which is even simpler. And in the following tutorials after that, I will show you how to do all of this, all of this in like forms in our page here so that we don't have to, 
keep going to the our, our jQuery, our JavaScript, and changing these values over and over again. We'll we'll put some buttons here to edit and delete, and we'll uh, turn this into a more interactive form. Uh, for some reason, the uh, there we go. Right, HTTP AJAX. HTTP methods with AJAX, that, that should have been the name, but you know, just to say this. So this has changed, and you can see in the JavaScript console it says XHR finish loading put uh, for this URL. Uh, if I visit this URL in my browser, it says, you know, not found because it's trying to get uh, this data and not post, uh, not put data, and uh, th there, there are some fail safes in the, uh, in the ExpressJS app. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned a little bit about how to put data uh, in, in jQuery. I will post all of this, uh, this entire uh, script and the index.html file on easyprogramming.net when we are, when, when, I'm, when I've uh, completed all of this in, in these tutorials. If you have any questions, please do ask in the comments below. Also remember to visit easyprogramming.net and look at the rest of my tutorials. If you want to see something that I haven't covered, uh, please do let me know. I'm happy to look into it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.